champion views and counting. <laughs> what a time to be alive. I think it's fun to watch. It's great. Gosh, all the other depressing stuff. Let's mix in a little cute goat story now and then. I think people need a little uh, palate cleanser. Yeah, it had a happy ending, that's for sure. Absolutely. We would like to see an end to this uh, rain, right? This we sort need of, it. I'm this, sick of it already. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we have needed the wet weather. We just don't want it all at once. And for some folks, of course, dealing with still water issues as well as road closures where we had too much last night. You're looking at Yadkinville today where we had some sunshine peeking through. So that was welcomed, right? We're going to see a little bit more sun tomorrow as well as a few clouds. It's still going to stay a bit unsettled, which means we have an opportunity for at least a few showers, a couple thunderstorms in the forecast through the day tomorrow. Drier skies on the way heading into the weekend and then some cooler, more fall like air comes our way early next week. It's actually going to be a bit warm, I think, in the coming days. Upper 70s, close to 80 degrees. We'd like to knock down the humidity just a bit. 82 was the high out there this afternoon for Winston-Salem as well as Greensboro. 80 in Mount Airy. Temperatures right now are real close to 70 degrees. You've got 70 degrees in Greensboro, a touch cooler in Mount Airy at 69. We've We've got 68 in Ararat and we have 68 in Asheboro as well. We also have a little bit of rain. Now it's fairly dry over Rockingham, Stokes and Surrey County where we had so much rain last night, but we have had over the last few hours some showers and thunderstorms over the southern part of the triad. So we're talking about Moxville as well as northern Davidson County. Some heavy rains kind of building along a boundary as well. So that may continue for the next couple of hours. We also have another area of showers and thunderstorms that's kind of pushing southward toward the Virginia North Carolina border and I do think some of that's going to hold together so at least a spotty shower or storm in the forecast between now and maybe 3 4 a.m. Haven't seen a lot of heavy rain out there today. Most folks have been rain free. We have picked up close to an inch from that thunderstorm there over northern Davidson County. Of course, last night we saw some three to six inches on average from Reedsville to Mount Airy. We did have some locally higher amounts of seven, eight inches. We're getting this moisture kind of wrapping around another area of low pressure that's formed along this front and down toward that front there'll be some showers and thunderstorms of course the low that moved inland is now kind of drifting northward it's still just really unsettled and because we do have a lot of moisture in the air at any point we could have a passing shower or perhaps a thunderstorm because there's a lot of water in the air it would be a heavy downpour so we've got a small chance for thunderstorms in our area tomorrow another chance for thunderstorms in the forecast as we move forward here's your hour by hour we do have some showers and storms down there now so you'll watch them and then that moisture coming in over the border by tomorrow morning at least a lingering shower around i do think a lot of clouds early on. They should start to break apart by lunchtime. We may get a little afternoon sun and then that will lend itself to some showers and thunderstorms that may develop heading into tomorrow evening. So we don't have a lot of coverage, meaning not many folks are going to see rain, but we do have opportunities for storms. So a high of 78 tomorrow afternoon in the triad, 77 is the high temperature for the foothills tomorrow and we are in the low 70s for the mountains. Now looking ahead, we've got of course a lot of things coming up Thursday night. App State at home. Make sure you've got your rain gear. There is a chance for some showers and thunderstorms there tomorrow evening. Drier skies heading into the weekend. Temperatures are warm, but hoping for some less humid air and for it to feel a little bit more like fall starting on Monday.